How are you? Can you hear me? Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. Um, so today I'm uh, going to talk about my one of my side projects. So um, uh, when people are like starting to learn about SNARKs, uh, one of the problem is that they uh, they got a lot of material to read, they got good articles to read, and but like when people want to start like develop something like okay how can i build snark and and how can i like have some real code to like write down and usually you uh the the the, the first thing you can find is something like okay i'm proving like i have two numbers then they are private and i can like like uh multiply them together and uh become a, a like public numbers and uh they kind of boring or, or something like I can prove like thousand terms of like Fibonacci sequences, but uh, that that kind of, uh, you kind of cannot get a, a sense of, okay, what what is the real usage of SNARKs and what, what are the utilities here? What uh, What's the real user experience of the uh, SNARKs looks like, but uh, when you look like uh, projects like Macy's or like uh, ZK Rollups, they are like thousand lines of codes of circuits, and that is like really un untrackable for for beginners. But there's a project called Tornado Cash. It's very like um, it's a very like tiny project, only like like less than two hundred lines of code, and it's very friendly for a beginner to to start looking. Uh, Hindu snacks. So, yeah. Um, so I I created this uh, side project. It's kind of uh, modifying the tornado cache uh, based on uh, Dimitri Kovatovich's uh, audit report. And so that's uh, let me begin by uh, introducing what tornado cache is. And while uh, if you want to follow, you can. Uh, clone the the repo I, I post it in the in the um in a chat chat room and then yeah and then and and you can like run npm install and npm build and while while i'm uh i'm speaking so the tornado cache is the um, uh non-custodial uh on-chain mixers and to provide uh, uh transaction privacy Usually you have um, um, you have some balance in one address, and you want to transfer this balance to another fresh new address, and you can send this balance to the Tornado Cash contract. So what Tornado Cash contract can do is you can deposit and withdraw, and with many people deposits and. Uh, those same people withdrawing, but without revealing who they are. And so for an outsider and um, and the public, uh, public cannot know uh, which, uh, which withdrawer uh, corresponding to which depositor. So, uh, so a larger, um, as many people deposit and withdraw, you have uh, more like privacy in this tornado contract and uh, under the hood uh, the tornado cache uh, maintains a, a sparse Merkle tree uh, that has uh, could be 16 labels or 20 labels and it maintains like uh, n history rules um, and also uh, and in the in the leaf of this tree is uh, um, uh, uh, two secret values. One is nullifier, another is secret. They are like hashing together um, to become a leaf. And this Merkle tree, you can see um, this MIMC and Pearson are like uh, snark friendly hash functions that uh, Vitalik talked before. And um, they're just hash functions. And also, um, so when when people deposit, 
uh, the user generate a random secret and nullifier and compute the commitment, which is the hash of nullifier plus hash. And the contract will uh, insert this commitment into the tree. When you withdraw, uh, when you withdraw the uh, the the same uh, ether you deposit in, into it, you provide a snap proof, uh, proving that first uh, you know the you know the secret value and know the hash of a secret value, and those commitments are inside the uh, this. Uh, this, this uh, commitment tree. And then uh, you need to uh, provide a public value called uh, nullifier hash, which is a uh, hash of the nullifier. And uh, contract will, <laughs> the contract will verify the snark proof uh, to make sure you are actually a member that deposited before. And then uh, it, it saves, um, it saves the nullifier hash. So even though you are anonymous, you cannot withdraw the same money twice. So uh, let's, uh, let's see the uh, project. So usually when you clone the project, um, you run, uh, so this project uh, is built uh, with uh, Node.js. So you need to install the Node.js dependency you need to run npm build, and this uh, this npm build uh, will uh, first uh, it will compile the the withdrawing circuit and do a uh, trusses uh, setup. Uh, there are like two phases of trusses setup, and also um, it will generate a uh, Verifier contract, and this uh, will sim link the uh, verifier contract uh, to the contrast directory, and then compiled with the contrast together. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, uh, for this project, we like replacing all the different uh, hash functions uh, into the uh, best snark hash function, uh, Poseidon hash function. And so here we use Poseidon for hashing the, uh, the Merkle tree and also hashing the nullifiers. And, and we can see that uh, um, we have like improvement in like, in terms of less constraint, uh, much less constraints. And that could uh, improve the uh, user experience of uh, generating the snark proof faster in in your uh, in the web browser. And also, the other report uh, suggested uh, um, um, improvement in the format of commitment and nullifier hash. Specifically, it used the uh, uh, only nullifier and plus is constant zero and as a commitment. So no no need to uh, have this secret here as long as the uh, hash function is secure. And also nullify hash, it used the nullifier and also leaf index. So the benefit of this is you can reuse the same nullifier again, although I don't think that's recommended, but like when you reuse again, you can like put the same commitment in like different leaves, but then you can withdraw them uh, like um, like 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 uh, if you, two, you have two leaves in the tree, you can withdraw two times. And so yeah, the rest are the same. Um, but uh, I reviewed this uh, project. It's mostly copy pasting, but like uh, re rebuild using the um, latest uh, developing tools like EtherJS, uh, later version of Solidity and Circom and Hardhead and uh, TypeJS, uh, uh, type, uh, TypeScript. Uh, it's yeah, all the happy tools. So, uh, uh, so just like npm run build should be able to build the uh, uh, projects uh, successfully. And 
the currently uh, is still running the trusted set apart. Uh, as the, the Toronto cache is based on the growth 16, and it has a um, it has a circuit specific trusted setup. So it uh, it could take a while. Okay, now uh, the trusted setup is done, and now it's like compiling the contract and um, and and uh, generating the uh, type chain. Uh, yeah, that's just the development tools. Um, and the next step you want to run is the uh, testing cases. Um, let's go to the test cases and see. Um, we have a deposit struct. And when we initialize this uh, deposit, it will generate a secret uh, random bytes uh, notifier. And you can get the property of commitments and the uh, notifier hash. Um, uh, here we develop, um, well, we, we, we deploy the uh, verifier contract and a, uh, and a Poseidon uh, contract and also the tornado domain contract. And when we, uh, the user, uh, so here we, we have three types of uh, user, um, the user actors. And, uh, the first is the user with the old uh, address, and this is the relay. Usually, you don't like withdraw the Toretto caches uh, a balance with your own own account. Um, there's a service provider called Relay. They can uh, you don't need to trust them, but like uh, they help you to uh, withdraw because they can help you pay the. Uh, Pay, pay the gas and you can use the uh, your clean new address that that hasn't uh, that has no any ether balances um okay so uh, so the user flow starts with like generating a new deposit and send a transaction to the tornado cash contract and deposit with some value and deposit with your commitments. And then, um, then we'll uh, we'll build a um, Merkle tree of um, of nine. This this Merkle tree can be built by thinking all the past uh, deposit event. And then we um, okay. And then we wait a while. And then we generate um, we generate a the witness and the proof. So the witness, we need this uh, public variables and private variables. Um, you can see the notifiers are the secret and the leave index are like your secret because it kind of identify who you are. And um, uh, these are like Merkle path uh, 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 hashes and elements and um, and now we, um, yeah, I haven't cleaned up this part, but these are just like loading the verification key and the, and the circuit uh, wasn't. And then we generate a proof and then run this. Uh, uh, we, we send that, uh, we hit the tornado caches withdraw function and with the proof element and all the public uh, variables. And then we run the withdraw. So uh, this is uh, what a test, uh, test case looks like. Um, let's take a look of what uh, the circuit looks like. The circuit uh, has, it has two circuits. Um, one is withdraw, another is the Merkle tree. Um, usually you can like uh, skip the Merkle tree and focusing on the withdraw part is like less than Fifty-nine, and it just uh, proved that the you know the preimage of the hash function, and the notifier hash and the commitment hash, and then it do a Merkle proof check. And here has a like strange part. It like kind of uh, force uh, computing some like uh, non use for. Uh, numbers, but like this is important to um, like keep your proof to um, 
to fix the recipient fee and relayer and the refund so that other relayer cannot like uh, like front run your relayer. So yeah, so this is this is the withdrawal circuit. It's just that simple. And uh, um, the the contract is also uh, very simple. It, it has a process deposit and process withdrawal and then we have <clears throat> oh uh this uh the, the there's a base tornado contract and there is a east tornado contract that uh overrides some method and so uh this east, east tornado contract supports like uh depositing and withdrawing ether but uh so um there, there uh, in the Toronto core, there's also a contract that can allow you to send ERC tokens to deposit and withdrawing ERC tokens, but I didn't implement here. So, yeah, what, um, so if you want to have some exercise and like action items, um, you can like uh, adding that uh, ERC20 uh, contract. That's the first thing you can do. And second is you add a test case and uh, to check that if I already withdraw once, I cannot withdraw twice. And once you finish that uh, uh, testing cases, you, 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 you can have a like, better understand how this uh, snark proof work. Yeah. So I think uh, yeah, my, my talks ends here. Any questions? Do you want any questions? Uh, two questions. So uh, one is, have you talked anything with the Tunic Hash developers? And is there any interest in terms of moving to the Poseidon Hash? And the second question is, uh, so there's two two uh, steps, in the, uh, two separate sort of, uh, setups. Uh, what are the consequences if either of them fail? OK, um, good question. So the first question, um, I didn't talk to Toronto Cash people yet, but I talked to uh, Dimitri, but he's too busy to uh, <laughs> take a look yet. And um, the second question is, um, what if the setup fails? So, um, so a simple answer is that uh, if the setup fails, you have to redo it. And, but um, okay, so the so, so trusted setup is um, uh, because uh, when you're using snarks, uh, if someone knows the um, so uh, in this setup, uh, you need to like generate a random secret that no one should have know that. But if that uh, someone knows that random secret, they can create a fake proof to convince the contract to withdraw. And so they can do a double withdrawing. So uh, is that the same for both of the setups? So like if the, because you said there were two, two steps. So like what's uh, yeah. the difference between them? But the, the, the two set is kind of, the step one is like generic uh, for, for like for the all applications. And the second one is for this circuit specifically. So if you are, like uh, let's say you deploy the, your instance on, on chain, and then you want to change some code, and you uh, you want to change the circuit, and you you don't have to redo the phase one, and you need to redo the phase two, and usually the phase one there is a file in the Dropbox that's like um, that's uh, Wei Jie. I think he's maintaining a repo that's like a trusted setup of many people's, but. Uh, uh, you can download uh, that that uh, that phase one uh, results like uh, it's very huge um, and and it takes a while to download and then and then use that phase one uh, setup to build your phase two setup. Yeah, uh, does that make sense? I think. 
it seems Jordi is in this chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Jordi has something to comment. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, uh, Jordi. <laughs> yeah. Just some com some some comments. Uh, one of the things is that I see that the gas cost uh, of the deposit is still a little high. Uh, more or less, it's the same order of magnitude that the current tornado cash. Uh, I was guessing if it, if this is possible because I, uh, 800k uh, gas is a lot, and then instead of computing the Merc, so the the, the problem here is that computing the Poseidon hash on chain this is quite expensive. So my, my question is, if you have considered to, to uh, the idea is that when you are adding a value to the Merkle tree, in a theta, instead of doing that on chain, can you create a proof? Can you create a proof that adds this? Uh, so you, you just create a proof that the new state root is uh, this one. So instead of 100K, maybe it takes 200K. That's what takes a, a proof. This is one thing. I know that you have the synchronization problems there, but then you maybe you have to do it in, in delay yet, or even if you have to do it in two transactions, it's gonna be much cheaper than paying a hundred eight hundred uh, K. This is one one thing. Um yeah, do uh okay. Um do you mean like creating a snap proof to do the deposit and without computing? Exactly. It? So in, in oh. instead of right now, I expect that you are adding the 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 uh, uh, a leaf in a Merkle tree. Yes. Uh, by so and this and then you need to compute the Poseidon hash function on chain. Yeah. Exactly. This is expensive. So the 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 idea is why don't you um, so the idea is why don't you um, add so you you just update the Merkle so you just uh, update the Merkle yeah. root just so you, you you provide the new root and a proof that the new root is the old root plus your 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 addition. Yeah, I yeah I, I think I, uh, yeah I I think that's. That's possible. I, I didn't. I haven't investigated like like uh the 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 cost of like hashing with Poseidon uh, Poseidon on, on on chain. But yeah, I I could take a look into that and see how if that can improve the deposit gas cost. Yeah. The other thing interesting in Poseidon is that uh you can get a lot of earnings in at least in constraints. Uh, if instead of using binary uh, Merkle trees, you are using, for example, XRE Merkle trees, then the Poseidon is very effective in constrained terms. I'm not sure uh, in gas cost uh, when you are so when you are computing on chain, this may increase a little bit. But uh, if you really want to increase, so if you really want to gain a lot of efficiency in the computing the proof, uh, so mainly reducing the constraints, you can use um, XRE. So you can use bigger, so Merkle trees that are, that has more branches. 16 branches, yeah. for example, is a good number. That's the, that's the, 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 the thing. And then just a side comment is just, uh, uh, I see that in your test, you are like uh, computing the powers of tau uh, file. Yeah, uh, it takes a while. Uh, yeah. Maybe you can download uh, powers of tau uh, somewhere, at least for the testing. You will save a lot of time. Yeah, but, uh, but uh, um, yeah, but as long as I host it like some somewhere. The base one, yeah. Just, uh, just a side comment. I just forget. Just uh, for okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, I think that that's a uh, uh, yeah, actionary tree. Yeah, that yeah, that's a great, great, great idea. Yeah, they, I, I, I tried that uh, that both both idea. That's that's very cool. Yeah, for the first one, the problem you will have the problem when there are many people trying to uh, deposit at the same time. Uh, yeah, there will be raised conditions. Yeah, but, 
Yeah, exactly. But here, I think you can do things like uh, delaying. Maybe, like, maybe the next, the next, uh, the, 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 per the next person that puts a deposit just uh, generates a proof uh, of a deposit that was done before, something like that. So that you can, you can delay. So you can do it in two steps. You know, just you are um, preparing something to deposit and. Uh, creating the proof for the deposit of something that happens maybe one hour ago. Oh, uh, uh, but okay. But the, that that means that new user have to wait the previous user to finish that one hour. Yeah, or or, or they can do another transaction if they want to accelerate. Oh, it's, okay. I see. I see. Oh, okay. And in a, a, in any case, just doing another transaction with a proof. Just see the numbers. You know, uh, right now, depositing, making a deposit is eight hundred case. Mm -hmm. If doing uh, two uh, doing um, one transaction with a proof is uh, around two hundred, three hundred case. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can do. You have margin. So doing two transactions. So if you spend six hundred k, this is even much cheaper than a hundred or nine hundred k that you are spending right now. In gas terms. Oh, interesting. But that's you know maybe maybe the things makes more complex. Eh? But just an idea to analyze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but I can. Yeah. At least I can write it down <laughs> as an issue for people to to figure out. <laughs> yeah, and, and the, do you have plan to deploy it to run uh, a trust setup and deploy it? No, actually, just like for fun. No, no plan to no plan to make it production. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no plan to like issue governance tokens or like. So, so, so mainly this is this is. Uh, let me translate what you're saying. You're looking for some volunteer to deploy Tornado Cash anonymously somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just share share me some tokens. <laughs> when lobster Taiwan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if anyone wants to deploy it, feel free to reach out to me. <laughs> or I bought it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, for, for doing that, it would be better not to run a trust setup here. Just maybe just run, uh, uh, try to run it with uh, um, with Plonk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but right now it's not JS is fully compatible with Plonk. Uh, we need to work a little bit more in efficiency because Plonk right now is a little bit inefficient, especially if you're running in the for but for this small circuit should not be a big issue. So maybe you can just run in a plong, then you don't need to trust the trust setup, and then it's easier for somebody just to deploy it. Uh that's the certain has a plong verification contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last the last version of of uh, Snark JS, uh, just using Circum, uh, you just uh, just check the readme. You can you can. With Circum, you can generate the plong proof, and you don't need to run all the trusses setup. So it's much much easier. The only thing is that the the proving is a little bit more expensive. I think it's around 300k gas compared to 200k gas of growth 16. But you don't yeah. need the trusses setup, so it's much much easier. And the big problem here is that the proof generation uh, in SnarkJS is uh, it requires some optimizations. There is margin, a lot of margin to do, but I had no time to spend on this. But it's 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 well, it's slow. And for a small circuit, I tell you, it should not be it should be not big issue. Oh, cool. Yeah, that that might work. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah. Um, okay. So Plunk, no trust is set up. Yeah. Anyone want to deploy, contact me? <laughs> so uh, this is Calvin here. Sorry to hop in, yeah. but uh, I'll, I'll play the awkward uh, BSC guy here. Um, I actually think it's very interesting to try and deploy this on BSC as well, just because it's cheaper to deploy. But more importantly, on Binance Chain, uh, there are no anonymous BNBs because every BNB originated from not a mine setup. It's from Binance.com. So there's actually a lot more of a need for Tornado-like uh, products or anything that uh, does do this mixing because anyone that makes any large withdrawal basically had to have funds come from a withdrawal from Binance. So therefore, pretty much any large amounts or any large wallets could be KYC'd and identified. Um, so maybe that's another interesting thing if you want to try a deployment there that won't cost you as much in terms of gas. Um, and also is uh, probably going to be used by a lot of people that um, because now Binance is uh, forcing KYC, a lot of people, including our own impossible finance, we're withdrawing our funds out before they reduce the uh, amounts that people can withdraw from the exchange um, to, I think, 0 0.06 BTC per day. So essentially useless for any project team or fund. So there will likely be a lot of project teams that currently hold their fundraising profits or other, uh, you know, uh, treasuries off of a centralized exchange. And this would be a very helpful tool to make sure that their funds are not, you know, traced once they move to an on-chain world. Sorry to, to, to hop in and, and steal the thread here. Uh, thank you for the input and that is CC. <laughs> CC is taking over the world. <laughs> <laughs> I got out of a clone. <laughs> okay. Um, any other questions or feedbacks? But to be honest, I don't know if this is a common opinion or not, but as far as I, I observed, some of the most hardcore people, they don't really like to embrace the anything on Binance chain, I mean, Binance Smart Contract chain, because, you know, any exposure to them or any development effort to them will just help the ecosystem grow. And that's not something that some of us, uh, we, we don't want to see that. But, but, but yeah, I understand what you mean. Uh, you know, certain, certain effort on the Binance chain can definitely help people to somehow escape from the, I mean, the compliance issues now Binance is facing. So yeah, I have mixed feelings about it. Yeah, yeah. For the record, I, I no longer work at Binance. I'm not, this is not a paid show. It's just, I, I really do think <laughs> that a lot of teams that, you know, use Binance before just because it was pretty easy to set up and that because it didn't require KYC, um, that a lot of teams were willing to work with this two BTC withdrawal limit, um, but that now with these more stringent KYCs, you know, I would hate to see any product team essentially get their funds locked inside Binance because they cannot, uh, you know, proactively move their funds out anymore. Um, and so this could be a very helpful, I think, use case to help these project teams. As far as I know, by I mean the the license of both Tornado Cash, Cash and and CC's version of Tornado Cash, they should be the same. And if I recall correctly, some one one of the famous talent celebrity in Taiwan already forked uh, their version own version of Tornado Cash. So I think it will be up to you or up to the team in the finance chain ecosystem to use that to suit their needs, maybe. Yeah, I think, um, uh, I forgot, I, I feel like it was another uh, name. Uh, maybe it, it's not Tsunami, It was a, but it was another Typhoon. I think Typhoon. <laughs> yeah, Typhoon, yeah. Okay. I was trying to think what is it. It's a, a different storm. But yeah, I think <laughs> there is some deployment there. But uh, yeah, I, I think the, the point is that this is probably really helpful for any EVM chain that's not ETH mainnet because of uh, the fact that most of these funds bridge over, like even Axie Infinity uh, with their Ronin uh, side chain, you know, all of these ETH is br getting bridged over from that big contract that's like what the second largest gas usage. Uh, so I think there should be much more 
uh, yes, uh, someone said cyclone, that in theory should be the correct uh, uh, Eastern hemisphere uh, weather phenomena. But uh, yeah, so you know, moving these funds to these other chains, it, I think does bring a lot more, uh, needs more anonymity because pretty much everything can be traced over or mapped over from whatever wallet you're bringing these funds uh, over from. And so to me, I think that's a very neat use case and also a cheaper uh, gas fee to deploy your contracts on these other chains. Um, sorry, I have a question for uh, CC now. So, um, if you don't mind. So, um, I was thinking about um, like Tornado Cash is like one of the kind of easy application, but it's like very practical. And in terms of like application, um, it's kind of like, as you said, it's like very, very varied, right? Like it, they're like those simple ones, which is not useful at all. And the, the really complex ones and Tornado Cat is kind of in between. I wonder if you um, know if there's like any other that's kind of like, kind of in this level of complexity or um, about how, how do we think, how to kind of wrap up normal developers on using uh, you know, like these things to to develop like small contracts. So, like, if you have any resources, that would be very helpful. Uh, do you mean like uh, the similar projects, or or like the uh, like development yeah. guys or something? Uh, I would say kind of on the how to think around like using this. Um, these oh. proofs to develop an application, right? Because because typically the example is like too simple that we cannot imagine it as an application, right? <laughs> like guess that's... guess what? Uh, I, I I know this number, but you don't know that I know. like that. That's not useful at all. So like tornado is really nice, but I I also kind of uh, I didn't search extensively, but this is kind of the only one that I encountered so far. So I was wondering if you have like others. Yeah, that, that's a good question. So so I would say once you uh, uh, get familiar and get comfortable with the Tornado Cache, the next thing you should uh, look for is the semaphore. So the semaphore is kind of like generalize the idea and you can apply it on any applications. And um, yeah, after semaphore might be like, um, like Macy or, or Unibrad, uh, but yeah, that that's our project for, for our team. So yeah, and um, but I think Semaphore is a good one after uh, the tornado cash. Uh, let me let me type it Semaphore. Um, awesome. 